In a stunning royal edict, King Charles III declares Harry and Meghan persona non grata at palace celebrations. In an unprecedented move within the hallowed halls of Buckingham Palace, King Charles III has effectively rendered Prince Harry and Meghan Markle as figures not to be spoken of. As the royal family gears up for the monarch's grand 75th birthday on November 14th, whispers echo that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have become the subjects most avoided in conversation. The king, preparing for a milestone celebration, has made it clear that the presence or even the mere mention of the Sussex couple is unwelcome. This decision marks a significant shift in royal dynamics, particularly as the king has labeled them the unmentionables, a moniker that speaks volumes about their current standing with the crown. Royal insiders have disclosed that discussions about the Sussexes are strictly prohibited, especially during the opulent dinner planned at Clarence House. Palace aides, treading carefully, have been instructed to steer clear of any mention of Harry or Meghan in the king's presence, a directive that underscores the tension within the royal ranks. The king's birthday festivities, spanning from November 12th to 15th, are set to be a whirlwind of events across London and Gloucestershire, with a clear intent to focus on celebration rather than familial discord. Notably, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle find themselves excluded from these significant royal gatherings, a snub that signals their increasingly distant relationship with the royal family. This exclusion comes amidst a backdrop of strained relations, further exacerbated by the Duke of Sussex's apparent cold reception at Buckingham Palace's gates. Royal editor Roya Nika and commentator Daniela Elser have shed light on these developments, highlighting the deepening rift post various anti-monarchy endeavors by the Sussexes. In a critical commentary, royal biographer Angela Levin has openly criticized Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's actions, asserting that King Charles III owes no apology to the couple. Levin's stance reflects a growing sentiment within royal circles, emphasizing a firm line drawn by the monarchy against the couple's recent conduct. As the royal family moves forward, the absence of Harry and Meghan at key events marks a new chapter in the ongoing saga of the British monarchy.